Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be looking and talking about the best rated books on my Goodreads and the lowest rated books on my Goodreads. And uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to that one shelf on Goodreads that shows you all of the books you've read. Um, like no matter what other shelves you put them on, they're just in the red category. And then you can sort them through a lot of different ways, but you can sort them by rating. So I'm going to be looking at, or by average rating, based on everybody else who has read it and reviewed it on Goodreads. And so I'm going to be looking at those with the best average ratings and then those with the worst average ratings and seeing if I agree or disagree and just my general thoughts about the average ratings and in the books. And this is not an original idea. I have seen a couple other booktubers do it, so credits to them. This is an original, just thought I would add that from the get-go. But this is original. This is an original puppy. Hello. Hello. Oh. She's gotten so big. I don't know if you guys can see that. She's so big compared to when I have held her in other videos. We're gonna start with the best. The best rated book on my Goodreads account is Between the Wild Branches by Colin Cosette with an average rating of 4.73 stars. I gave this book five stars. It is the second book in the Covenant House duology and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I I just loved the character development of... Oh, are you growling at me? Um, I loved the character development of Lucio, I think is his name. I, well, he changed his... No, he didn't change his name. I can't remember exactly, but... I seem to remember one of his names is Lucio, and his character development was just insanely amazing and beautiful, and I loved it. Yeah, I love basically everything by Connelly Gazette. Uh, the next couple of books are also by her, because she is an amazing author. So, the second highest rated book on my Goodreads is Like Flames in the Night, with an average rating of 4.68 stars. I also gave this book five stars. It is the fourth book in the Cities of Refuge series. I, the reason I liked this book so much, well, I like all of her books, but one of the reasons this book stands out for me specifically is that it's a lot more action-adventure type than focusing on the relationship side. And I'd say the Cities of Refuge series is a good mix of about 50% action-adventure, please don't bite me, and 50% focusing on the relationship as it develops within the action. This fourth book, Like Flames in the Night, is more like 70% action adventure and 30% relationship driven. I just, I really liked it. And the main character, I forget her name, Tirza? That might have been her name. Um, she was a very strong, independent woman, and I just, I loved that. Okay, the next book is Until the Mountains Fall with an average rating of 4.64 stars. This is the third book in the Cities of Refuge series. And this one I really enjoyed because it was like an Old Testament allegory of the parable of the lost son. And oh my gosh, I think Dolce is just gonna keep trying to bite me unless I hold her. Um, but anyway, so I loved that aspect of, of this New Testament parable playing out in an Old Testament setting. Um, it was really interesting. But it didn't make it predictable. There was only one plot point that I like specifically was able to predict. Everything else, it still flowed like a normal story with the suspense of it all. No one's gonna listen to me. They're just gonna look at you. Chill. The next one is Wings of the Wind with an average rating of 4.61 stars. I gave it five stars, and this is the third book in the Out From Egypt series. I think this is my favorite Conlon Cazette book. It ties with To Dwell Among Cedars, which is the first book in the Covenant House duology, but I really like Wings of the Wind because it is from the perspective of, I think her name is Alana, and she is, she's very resistant to to God, to basically everyone actually, uh, at the beginning of the book, and she just, the slow unraveling of her heart, like the opening of her heart, is just so beautiful, and talking about it makes me want to read it again, because I just, I loved her, um, I just loved her, 
yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> okay, and then finally, this is the book we'll end on, I guess. Next is An Echo in the Darkness by Francine Rivers with an average of 4.61 stars. I gave this book five stars at the time I read it. I think if I were to read it now, I would probably give this book four stars, but, oh, sorry, Dolce bumped the tripod. I, I'm not sure, but I was really captivated by this book when I first read it. It was one of the first biblical fiction books I ever read. But yeah, I would say it definitely deserves its place up there. I don't think it's a five star read because it's very, looking back, it's a very all over the place book and there's a lot of different perspectives in it, but I really enjoyed it and I guess I was able to follow it pretty well if I gave it five stars at the time. But I basically only gave books four or five stars when I first started reading. <laughs> which is sad to say, I, I hand out five stars so rarely now. I think I've only given out two this year. Okay, that is the um, best rated, I think. Here's what we're gonna do. This video is already fairly long, so I think I'm gonna do it in two videos, which is the YouTuber I saw do it, had to do it in two videos as well. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna post these on the same day. Or maybe I'll put one day in between them. I think I'll post this video on Friday and then I'll post the next video on Saturday. So I'll give you guys a little break between them. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like and come on back tomorrow for the worst, or not worst rated, but just the books with the lowest ratings on my Goodreads account. And also please let me know in the comments what are the highest rated books on your Goodreads. I'm curious to know. So until tomorrow, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.